Put your hands together for our finals champions, 2023 Wyndham Rhinos and the 16. Here joined with Kyron, the captain of the under 16 uh, Wyndham Rhinos team. First of all, congratulations on the win. Thank you, bro. Um, so, what are you currently feeling right now? After oh, well, I'm feeling fire. Everything, head rush, fire. That was just a mean game. I, I just give a shout out to the Mountain Boys, fire. They played mean. It wasn't an easy game. Everything doesn't always come easy, but yeah. I just, yeah, shout out to the Wyndham Boys too. Fire. We played mean all season, and the boys always kept their heads up, but yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's all I um, yeah. Do you also have any plans on celebrating your victory? Oh, well, I don't know. I'll probably just get home and head off the boys, see if they want to do anything. Yeah. Nice. Just shout out to the boys if I end up chilling out after this. Definitely. Yeah. And um, is there anyone special that you'd like to dedicate this victory to? Well, I was actually looking at Sonics. Sonics come here. And it's not just because you use a video, it's because Sonics is on the field. And I seen him, he had a headache. And I told him, I'll get up. And he kept playing. He got hopped up straight away and kept playing. So yeah, that's my man. Man of the game is nice Sonics. But, yeah. uh, just again, uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, you can now celebrate with your team. Thanks for that, bro. All good. I'm here with Rocco, the co-captain or vice-captain of the under-16 Wyndham Runners. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, so talk me through that last few moments where you made that amazing kick to win the game. I was just thinking like, it's all, it's all, for, all, all for nothing if I miss it, you know? And it's like, it's for all the boys that couldn't play, like Ogi and stuff that couldn't play last minute and all the injuries through the year. And I was like, yeah, I just knew I had to make it. And yeah, I just went in full confidence. And yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, was it, B, is there anyone that you'd like to dedicate this victory to? Oh uh, yeah, no, just all, all the coaching staff at Wyndham and my parents, like, couldn't have done it without them. And the whole team, all the boys, yeah, 100, yeah. Uh, and as a vice captain, I know you had to make a, uh, some important decisions and also motivate your team. Uh, how were you able to do this? It just comes with um, comes over time, making more decisions, especially watching games as well, watching games and knowing the score. Just and when you when you see your teams down, you just know you got to bring the energy up so you can keep pushing and keep going. Do yeah. uh, again, congratulations on the win. Uh, you can go celebrate with the team. Thank you. So I'm here with Matthew, um, best on ground player in the grand final for the under 16 comp. Uh, good job on the win. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone special that you would like to dedicate the win to? Um, I think just my family and I think God and my mum. My mum really helped me with this. Um, and yeah, just the support from my family and our, and our team. Yep. Um, and did you have any particular favourite moment from the game? Uh, I think it was Rako's moment to be honest. I felt like it didn't really shine. I just played as a team and just played my role as best I could. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw you made a few good runs, um, so that was pretty cool to see. Thank you. Uh, and hope you uh, enjoy your celebration. Thank you. So I'm here with Ramsey. Uh, I can see that you really enjoyed that game. Yeah. Uh, scored, I think you scored a try. Um, so what was your favorite moment about this game? Well, probably just the intensity and the hope when I scored my try. Yeah. yeah. I can see you were really happy about that. Yeah. Opportunity uh, just popped up and yeah. I took it. Yeah. yeah. And also, uh, what's your favourite thing about playing rugby with your friends? Uh, it's just the bond that uh, you get with the boys and like the bond you make as you grow older. Uh, you make bonds with new players that come to your team. Oh yeah. mm -hmm. uh, well, good job on the win. Uh, you can now celebrate your team. Thank you. Um, I'm here with Sonics. Uh, good job on the win. Um, I saw in the game that you uh, injured yourself. I think you're on the ground, but I saw you get up and keep fighting. What what caused this? I mean, the team spirit was high uh, pretty much throughout the whole game, 
and uh, I didn't want to miss the opportunity to continue playing with the boys and it was worth it because we got the victory in the end and it was also a great time. Was there any particular favourite moment that you had in the game? Uh, definitely the end uh, when Rocco took that, those last three points to bring the game home and yeah. You also signalled uh, to us in the crowd about a potential drop kick. Uh, well, I, I did position myself for the drop kick, but we ended up getting the penalty and Rocco was able to secure those three points for us. You definitely enjoyed yourself out there. Good job on the win and you can go celebrate with your team. Oh, thank you. I'm joined here with Seth, the uh, coach of the under-16 Wind and Rhinos team. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the win. Um, what were you pro most proud of accomplishing this season? Um, oh, just, just I think the uh, the bond that these boys have built to get them to where they are. Um, for me, I think rugby is a lot more than just the game. Yep. Um, it's what we do off the field as well, and um, that's a testament to what these boys were able to, to do today. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and is there anything that you would like to say to any of your supporters or fans? Horns up, baby!